Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, hey, welcome. The new Alpha is here. <laughs> oh, Alpha 3 version 6.5. Oh my goodness, I I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Look at the new features. Custom battles. You can choose to fight randomly during the years 1890 to 1930, selecting a nation fleet, composition, and year for you and your opponent. It's linked to the upcoming campaign progression, so errors won't even occur. For example, ships might not be available for a nation in a specific year. We're going to improve. Okay, I'm not going to go to this. I've done that. I did a custom battle. I picked a fleet. I said, let the AI build it, and bing! I went and had a real quick dirty fight, and it was a riot. We can explore all available hulls via custom battles. Whoa. You can quick start or design your design ship class your fleet. You will be able to select all available hulls, select nation and year. Uh, enable the setting, unlock, provide you all hulls of all nations for the selected year. Uh this select replaces the superseded previous cheat mode, which I had just begun to dig around with and was having a lot of fun. All cheats will eventually be disabled because they cause multiple issues. Okay, fine. Damage decals. You will notice much more damn detailed damage effects on ship hulls due to shell or torpedo impacts and realize where each hull penetration took place. Uh, that's one thing I said right from the start that the... Uh, the damaged textures were just kind of eh, and they're working on it. Yeah, I love it. Improved combat penetration info. Detailed penetration estimator shows up when you hover your mouse over an identified target, including information about sections that you can penetrate, your total penetration power over the enemy armor, ricochet angles, and side deck hit chances. You can use this in reverse by selecting enemy ships and pressing the Alt key while hovering your mouse over your own ships. This feature should help players understand what is the best distance and angle to attack versus heavily armored targets. All right, that's that sounds like a video in and of itself. Save and name your designs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. New missions. Sink the Raiders. Use your semi dry knot or other ships to defend your transport from three dangerous cruisers. Meet the U.S. battleships. Try to defeat two very large and experimental battleships of U.S. design. Rise of the heavy cruiser. Design modern heavy cruisers without the constraints of treaties and confront three strong reconstructed armor cruisers. There can be only one. <laughs> A speculative Iowa versus Yamato scenario. The ships are, of course, not identical, but their designs are based on historical hulls. Sink the cruiser killer. Fight versus an experimental and deadly battle cruiser. Heavy duty design modern warships and fight versus super battleships and its escort. And then we've got Naval Academy balances. I will sit here. You can pause the video if you want to read that. Yeah, okay. Uh, combat gameplay. Uh, improved secondary gun penetration. Torpedo boats less resilient against gunfire. That's a good thing. Uh, uh, look at oxygen fuel torpedoes and 23 and 24 inch torpedoes. Late tech torpedoes have even more intensified damage. Torpedo protection now increases floatability, but reduces acceleration and turning speed. <sighs> Citadel armor schemes increase your armor quality, but more expensive. Uh, you know, okay, again, pause. Okay, you, you know, you should have been able to read it by now. <laughs> I, just, I, I just can't see myself reading this whole thing. But visuals, guns, elevate uh, to fire at a target and then to press to reload. Uh, new modern battleship assets based on the Mushashi. Uh, fix issues with U.S. battleship hull type now with mission design of Dreadnought includes a properly looking scale model based on the South Carolina. Ah, uh, oh, look, Caribbean cruiser hull type based on. Ah, uh, uh, okay, slight fix of AI related with formations. That's cool. I'm not sure what that's going to mean, but we'll see. Um, 
targeting become more dynamic and affected more smoothly due to maneuvering? Uh, anyway, I get, I'm, I'm just kind of babbling here. You can pause at any point and read this stuff all the way through. Uh, gun range is now shown with better visuals or better optics or better performance. You can toggle them to fade out at some time. Or uh, I've not had any performance issues, but I got a pretty stout rig. Uh, some bug fixes and some game performance optimization increased for all PC systems. Well, I wasn't having any problems anyway, but okay. Um, Remove possible empty okay much faster slow or whatever and then the, anyway it's it's just stupid it's so cool uh, I, I you know I, <laughs> yeah oh I am excited I am some kind of excited I don't know if I can pause this thing for a moment no apparently not okay well I thought I had maybe it's this if I can get a pause huh yeah, there. That's taken care of. So, uh, do we really have meet the U.S. battleships? There can be only one. Time limit 210. Now, this is a design. Sink the cruiser killer. Heavy. Oh, there's so much fun left to be done here. And look, the custom battle. So you can come up here and say, um, 1917, British Empire versus the German Empire, and we can, oh, you know, just take these down. We could design a ship, we just do a quick start. And that was pretty quick. And we're off and running. Enemy spotted off to the north. Well, can't be having that. What have we got here? Ooh, noisy, noisy, noisy. Back up. The Valiant. One and a half to 11.2 inches. I'm hearing shooting. Maybe I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Because we're being shot at. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are we facing out there? We don't know. Let's pick up the pace. Apparently, we're outranged. Turn that down just a little bit. All right, looks to me, if you look up here, I think that's a frames per second. I'm getting 60, which is perfectly good for me. I thought I saw it earlier getting around 50. I am hearing the other guy's shots. Well, it's not good that he's uh, ranged in on me already. There we go. There we go. Oh, boom. All right, did we just take a hit? I don't think so. All right. We're at 1.6% chance to hit. Get to see this guy. Well, he... Ooh, it's exciting. Wow. I've got to turn that sound down. It's blowing me away. We haven't been hit yet. We haven't identified the guy, so we don't know what kind of uh, guns he has. Yeah, he's, uh... He's getting awfully close, though. All right, let's slow down to our cruise speed. <whistles> Bracketed nicely then. We 
that's a hull I don't remember ever seeing before. God sakes. We've got a smooth dozen 14 inch guns. 7 inch guns, 5 inch guns, 4 inch guns. We haven't laid a hand on him. This has changed a bit, identifying 33% so Oh look, and the the range rings are now very distinct and very clearly labeled. That's very nice. Let's pick it up a little bit. But this is awesome. We just jump in and have a quick and dirty shoot 'em up. If we wanted to have a large fleet, we could do it. Whatever he's got, he's got six of. I'm thinking we're we probably outgun him, unless he's got some really big guns there. That oh my goodness. We're still identifying him. We've not taken any hits. Lord, look at a con two point eight percent. I guess we're gonna have to get serious. And works like we're inside of eight inch gun range. Yep. His secondaries are gonna start pounding on us pretty quick here. Not that I'm worried about 8 inch guns much. Looks like our 7s are in. And we should be able to go here and see. Ooh, we took a hit. 14 inches. First blood to the Germans. Oh, thump thump. Yep, our uh, our secondaries are pounding away for whatever they're worth. Looks like us. Tank. here. It's on its way. Can't seem to touch him. It fell partial. He's doing better than we are. Oh no, we've hit him. We've hit him. Okay. We've got a piece of him. Not much, but just about the same as him. We've got more fire going than he does. Is he using HE on us? I don't know. Up to 7.5% chance to hit. Start maneuvering again. It's just graphically gorgeous. Aha! Well, that didn't work. Let's see. Penetration 44.5% penetration with a hit. Armor. to 24 inch. Alright, this is a feature that I read about that I need to study to understand. I think what that's telling us is where it's green we can just tear him up. 
Yeah, penetration, 44.5%, where it's green. Well, no, because I don't see... I don't know. We have to read the. We have to read it again. God, I have to read it again. Really figure out what's going on there. And the the little guns are just pecking away. Wham! Got a good hit. Damage main gun. That was a stern deck penetration. Nice. See? Right there. So let's go look. And see what the damage looks like. Well, you can see that this is discolored. I'm having a hard time seeing the other hits were not... Stern belt extended. Okay, there was one below the waterline here. So it looks like the most obvious damage visually is to this turret. Models are just beautiful. And we come back here and look. Oh! Oh! Look! Look! <laughs> Alright, got damage here. You can see that texture. But look at the decals where the main belt's been hit. Oh, man. All right, let's get back after it. We're going to have to get some work done on it. We've only got 668 rounds left. Yeah. Foul deck extended. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to see the damage. Hey. Whoa! What an interesting point of view. Hit deck felt penetration. Well, I think I think he's winning. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, this is really torn up here. Well, we better get some payback sooner. This is going to be a losing fight. Start maneuvering again. Twelve knots. How did I get her down to twelve knots? I did something. Better speed her up a little bit. I don't care. Nice hits. Oh, we've taken an engine hit. That's what happened. Yeah, I didn't see that. We got an engine hit. Not good. Yeah, he's beating us to death. We are not. He's at a 33% chance to hit. Wow. Yeah, this doesn't look good for the Valiant. Just 
got more armor. She's hitting 50% more accurately. And this is ultimately an attrition game assuming nothing dramatic happens. Oh, she's all the way up to 13, 14 knots now. Oof. Come on, he's getting more rounds downrange too. Ouch, 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 ouch. Well, that was nice, but not much. Yeah, that hurt him, but not... On fire and flooding. Well, let's speed it up and get it over. Because this is just a brutal slugfest. Somebody's got to get real lucky. Whoa, what is that? Torpedo! They did it! They did it! They threw in the torpedo... They threw in the torpedoes. Uh, what am I? There's, there's a word I'm looking for here. <laughs> they gave us a clue. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'm going brain dead. But look at the torpedo, and we it it gave us a a, a flag when it was spotted. All right, we will avoid that torpedo, but only just. And off we go. Wow, he's got some great torpedoes. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's winning this fight in a pretty dramatic scene. Oh, torpedo again! He's got longer range torpedoes, he's got better fire control. There's all kinds of problems here for us. But getting that little telltale about the torpedoes is delicious. Oh my god, 50% chance to hit. He's making 23 knots, we're making 11. <laughs> I don't know where the torpedo launchers are in this thing. We can't, we just can't touch him. Or at least not fast enough. But what the heck, this isn't about, this is just about exploring the new features. And we're all the way up to 12 knots, make it stop. And another torpedo, for God's sake. How many of these things does he have? Look at that. Okay, we'll avoid that torpedo. We touched him that time, but he is winning the attrition fight big time. Oh, load her up with HE. We're not doing anything else. Also, we don't seem to have the uh, wicked torpedoes he has. He put some fast, fast torpedoes in the water.
well about time we hit him but uh that wasn't that's not gonna be enough he's well ahead another torpedo he has got some wicked wicked torpedoes well, the, the, the pickup game didn't say it would be an even match. It said you get a pickup game. Is the Valiant, oh, she's got steering problems now, is no match for, what is she? The Hagen. Oh, did you see that ricochet? Yeah, she's got steering issues big time. Well, I'm thinking, whoa! By God, there's some hits. Well, we're kind of catching up on the damage. <laughs> I'm wondering if switching to AG made the difference. Only a 3% difference now. A few minutes ago it was like 14, but we're at 38% flotation. So, you know, there's just no comparison to the damage. There's another ricochet. That is so cool. Well, we uh, we hit her hard that time. Not real sure why she turned away. It might be, might be that once the the AI sees a certain level of damage, and it can escape, and she certainly can at 19 knots. She decides to get out. Boom! Now there's a racked up a bunch of hits. Hey, you know what? We've turned this around. Well, yeah. Structurally, she's in big trouble. Let's turn up the pace a little bit. Oh, the steering is horrible. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Goodness gracious. Here it comes. And chances of hitting are gone. Not so good. We're shooting a lot more guns at it on the broadside. Here it comes. I don't know how she does, fails to escape. Chance to hit it dropping dramatically. We've got no engines. We can't steer. <laughs> and I think it's just hard to figure out how she doesn't escape. Wham! Big hit. Now we've got so much in the way of forward firing guns. We'll just bear straight down on her and hope 
18% chance. Uh, we're at 43.43, so 22.57. We sh we've done a bunch of structural damage since we switched to AG. Wham! Look at the, the ricochets. Those have to be secondary. Slowed it down to normal speed. I want to see if we can catch one of those ricochets. Hell, maybe not. We're up to 9.7 knots, man. Our damage control is getting after it. Oh. Come on, guys. Come on. She's still running away from us big time. Seventeen percent chance to hit. Boy, look at the ricochets. That is so cool. Fire and flooding, huh? Flooding, huh? Still outrunning us. Significantly outrunning us. Well, I don't know. One thing I haven't figured out is whether the chance to hit is a net chance or is it per barrel. percent chance. Yeah, it's becoming it's becoming tedious. <laughs> but you know what? We ran her off. I'm beginning to think you call that a victory. No, we don't seem to be able to touch her. That engine hit did us. We just really she's having steering problems herself, but steering and engine three damaged. Oh, we got her! Not that it mattered. I wonder if we click on this. Well, she's just, she's still well within main gun range. But she is outrunning us and every second goes by. Well, she's run she's getting closer to run out of ammo than we are too. Uh. <laughs> well anyway, I think we'll call it. <laughs> it's just been let's leave the battle. I think we call that a we call that a win. Uh, Naval Academy start. Just take a look in here. Uh, exit. Uh, oh, I, there was a specific. So if we jump in here. 
modern battleship hull. Isn't it beautiful? Main guns. 18 inch triple barrel. <laughs> Let's make her big. Well, we're not going to get into this. I just want to take a look at it. So there, there's the quick and dirty look over the changes, a little bit of the gameplay, see how that works. I'm going to be spending a whole lot of time in here, man. This is just too good to be true. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look as much as I enjoyed doing it. And hey, I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.